Hey there fellow art rookies, today we are diving into a topic that resonates with all of us, form of art that we found everywhere in this universe, music. Uh, well, of course I'm not gonna play guitar for you or sing a song. You know what they say, art can change the world. Well guess what, music can do the same since music is a form of art. From the soothing sounds of nature to the melody crush of waterfalls, music surrounds us. And those songs we play on repeat, they're our emotional anchors. Regardless of whether we are riding in the happiness waves or navigating to the stormy seas of sadness. So I decided to pay my debt to music by drawing it. I kicked up with the line art, you know, the crucial skeleton that gives life to any artworks. But hey, lucky me, there wasn't so many of them because line art is hard. Next up, fiery hair. I stumbled upon a fire rendering technique in YouTube tutorials. Sadly, I can't recall the channel or the artist, sorry. But it got me thinking, why not gather all this golden piece of knowledge and recreate my own tutorial video by copying them as a beginner artist? Because you know, us beginners understand each other better. Don't you think so? And then came Galaxy Hair. Well, Honestly, I don't remember if I ever watched any rendering tips about how to render galaxy, but I think it was only observation and random brush strikes go. As you saw in the video, uh, I just paint and color for the base color or the flat colors you may call them. Then start by uh, giving them some dark tones and dark shadows. It strikes some random brush that for uh, some colors in galaxy like blue, pink and things like it. And the last step to drawing galaxy was sparkle some star in it. So I randomly choose some place to put a star and I also draw some shapes with the stars. For the idea of this illustration, picture this. I stood at the crossroads faced with two paths. One led to the fiery body dancing in a celestial flames and eternal cosmic body, while the other was towards galaxy infused hair and flaming hairs. So guess which pass I choose. Final step, rendering the props in the most random order possible. Why? Because creativity doesn't follow rule books, and totally not because I have ADHD. As for the music related stuff, I didn't have any idea to what should I choose. So I turned the trusty Google Onichan and I asked him what should I draw about music? So I crossed upon some pictures that had some music related stuff on them, like drums and microphones and things like it, you know, the things that you see in the picture, in this illustration. And voila, some color adjustment magic, and here is the final result. How do you like them? Should I draw some things like them more often? Let me know. Let's jump to the second drawing, a sketchy wallpaper vibe music related stuff. Music plays a significant role in our lives. The character that I drew here embodies both feelings, sadness and happiness. And why I only draw eyes? Well, they say your eyes like windows that shows your soul. No need for a full portrait when the eyes say it all, you know? And also, I'm lazy to do it all. For the colors in the second one, I choose some grayish color palettes and some nonish color palettes because I thought it was really cool. This is the finished result. 
Now it's your turn. Which one of these drawings speaks to you? Let me know in the comment below. And how could I approach these illustration ideas differently? Let me know. And remember, if you are playing a tone or wielding a paintbrush, you are part of this beautiful, harmonious universe. So keep creating and have a good day.